Hi, welcome back to the woodland. Thanks for joining me again. I'm still working on my intro, so um, you have to bear with me. It's only video three so far. If you've not seen the first two, check them out. I want to do new things that I've not done before, so that's why today I'm going to be making an otter. From this lump of cedar. So the first things first is I've got to get it off this pile and stood up right. So when I saw this piece of wood in the wood pile, I thought, hey, that curve in it, that's gonna be great to make an otter out of. I'll, I'll use that curve for the curve of the otter. And then when I stood it up, I realized that it was too short. So unfortunately, I ended up going completely the opposite direction and going against the curve. I don't recommend you do that. I recommend that you try and use the shape of the wood for the piece that you're doing. That is what I try and do most of the time, but for this little video, I just uh, went, a, went a different way, went a different way. So when I'm shaping the head, I'm just trying to leave myself with options for when I come back and do the detail work. Uh, but I just want to shape it out. I know that an otter's got a fairly short head and it's quite wide. It's sort of like a like a little square, quite a, a stout little face. So I'm just trying to shape that in. You know, the, there's not a massive angle on the nose compared to the top of the head. What I'm trying to be careful of here now is that I don't take away too much so that, you know, it, it falls off the base. Um, I just want to make sure I've got enough meat in there so it's fairly sturdy. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet in terms of finishing it. I'm either going to sand it or, you know, to give it that sort of slick look, or I'm going to put just very, very fine fur on. Um, so when we get nearer to that point, I'll probably decide then.
Okay. Oh, sawdust everywhere, as always. The chainsaw bit's done, pretty much. I'll just tickle up some little bits. I'm gonna put the eyes in now. So I'm gonna use an eye tool now with my die grinder. And that'll just give me beautiful, rounded little eyes. Cause I wanna give it that kind of cute look that otters have or should have. So you get these in different sizes, but this size is I think just about right. And then I'll just run over it all with the uh, flap sander just to smooth out the fur a bit. And that's it. So that's it all finished. I managed to get that nice curve in. I think for my first otter, it's gone pretty well. I'm pretty pleased with how it's turned out, if I'm honest. Just put some Danish oil on there to finish it off. Give it a lovely color on that cedar. If you've liked this video, please do let me know. Please like it if you like it. Also, if you want to see what I make next time, then click subscribe. Thanks for tuning in. Cheers.